are grateful. The compact is renewed. What do you need? I suppose a noble death fighting the blighted wretches is better than basking in this squalor. They'd better be paying well. Uh, we're not going to be mobbed, right? That's not something elves do here. Mob people. What do you want? Money? Someone's coming. Thanks for running those thugs off. I thought they were gonna kill me. I'm fine. Please, don't talk to me. You'll only attract their notice. Spare a silver for a war veteran? Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. Worried about this plague? Go. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my uncle Syrian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's wrong, Shem? Did you get bored and decide to come watch the elves die of plague? Wait. Soros told me about you. You're the one who freed him from the dungeons. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my uncle Syrian, and Valendrian? From the Blight. That's what they say, anyway. People started getting it after the refugees showed up from Ostagar, so I guess that makes sense. These men from Tevinter say their magic will prevent people from catching it. But it doesn't work if you're already ill. So they set up a quarantine. But many of the ones they quarantine aren't sick. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. They won't just let you in. Well, there is another entrance in the alley. There's no crowd watching, no mages, and only one guard. You can try. Those guards mean business. No, you can't go inside just for a moment. So you might as well walk right back around to the front doors. You shouldn't be out on the streets now anyway. What with the plague? Hmm. What's worse? Dying of the plague or dying of hunger? I'll take my chances with the plague, thank you, if it means I get paid. I've been hungry. The novelty's worn off. Not enough to put up with all these questions. What do you want? Six. <sighs> sure. I never saw you, and you never saw me.
What was in there? Where is everyone? Let me see that. What does this even mean? They can't be shipping people, can they? Shipping them where? No. People go in, but they don't come out. They aren't shipping anything out of there that we've seen. They could be moving through the back alleys. There are all sorts of buildings back there. They could be using one as some sort of warehouse, staging area. There are apartments off the alleys. I would go to the back of the hospice and maybe follow the alley from there. If you find any more information, please let me know. I refuse to accept that they're all simply gone. Is someone there? Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. I appreciate your candor. Most stare. Or worse, the awkward silence. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. Don't be. Many of my brethren died in that battle. We'd heard rumors that there's an enclave of Maleficarum hidden in the alienage. I have found no evidence of Maleficarum in the alienage. However, there is something else. This place, it's scarred like me. When I came here, I immediately could feel an air of hopelessness, despair. But over time, I felt the wrongness runs far deeper than that. I don't know. But the feeling of wrongness never wanes. And so I attempt to puzzle it out. I don't suppose I could impose upon you. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me, and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping... You could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. I don't know. I have a feeling that there is something to be found, though. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. You're not one of the bad men, are you? I just want to make Grandma happy. Never met her, but she protected me. But I lost her amulet. Grandma, make the voices go away. Everything and nothing. They thirst for blood. More blood. The bad men in the house. The housemen. They came the night of shouting. All of us orphans were in there. Then the blood. Oh, the blood. Still bleeding. Poor animals. Poor us. No, sir. No, sir, indeed. Don't go into the orphanage. The bad men will take you, too. Oh, it's good to see you again, friend. You were so generous to me before, and these are... other veterans. I'm an orphan. Oh, and, uh, uh an orphan. Please, my lady, can you spare some coin? I am insulted. A veteran campaigner, am I? 
And Oli is as bereft of parents as anyone's ever been. My mom is especially dead. <laughs> no need to mention that, Oli. Will you help us? Ah, can't blame a fellow for asking, eh? Well, let's go, Oli. Should be easy enough. What have you found? The riot took its toll not only on the body but on the mind as well. I know of whom you speak, although she opened up more to you than me at a poor orphanage. A sad tale that. Did you find anything else? There's been no fighting in the alienage recently which means the blood is not congealing. I suppose there could be some explanation for it. Hmm. That's by the orphanage, right? Sad place. Did you find anything else? I'll report that at once. I've heard such afflictions can spread, even from a corpse. I suppose someone may not have known that. One odd thing I am willing to believe, but two is no coincidence. Let's head to the orphanage. Both of your clues were near there. Oh, undoubtedly. But the Maker has blessed me with more than my share of stubbornness. Let us proceed. The feeling is intense here. This is the right place. I know not if it's the work of the Maleficarum, but there is definitely evil here. You go first. I will follow.
This. This is the center of it. Breathe, mortal! You do not belong here! Blessed be the Maker and his prophet Andraste. Your pathetic Maker is nothing compared to my glory! I command you, show yourself, demon. Hide in the shadows no more. You dare to command me? Let us see if your precious Maker can protect you now, worm! At one time, I considered myself quite the warrior, but you accomplished here what I never could. But something still isn't right. I feel there is more to this. Nearby, the building next to us, I can feel it, just on the other side of this wall. Let us go.
are safe. Though the Golden City has fallen, I have seen your face and your light. I am your... Save your pedantic chant for your sermons, Templar. You have killed my brood. The Maker compels you. Show yourself. The Maker. There is no Maker. There is no Golden City. But there are demons. Yes. I hear not your blasphemy. By Andraste and all the Divine after her, I order you to face me. You delusional fool! We have done it again. I feel the darkness receding. I have seen the work of demon before. Some Maleficarum consort with them. But the Maker must have guided me. Nothing. Please, just leave me alone. All right. Uh, I saw them take everyone. Took them right out of their beds. Dragged them down the hallways. Baker, the little one's crying. Through the landlord's old office. They go in there, they never come back. I saw him. They marched him through the hall with a bunch of others, all tied together like pack mules. Every few days. They come back. It's like a parade, a silent one. Men and women and children. You have to go. They'll be back soon. They'll find out I talked and they'll take me too. Please, just go. What's this? Another shipment already? Do we want... Wait. You're no Tevinter. Who are you supposed to be? Quick, get them, hurry! Begin the onslaught! <laughs> 
let's get started. What is the meaning of this? We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we've been given dispensation to do our business here. You Ferelden's talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? So I should feel kinship for these sheep? Don't be a fool. I am Tevinter first, and a servant of the Minrathu Circle second. Those are the things that matter. But enough. I am here to halt your slaughter, nothing more. I am no fool. I can see that you are capable. So be it. I will let Caladrius deal with you while I fetch the Regent's men. I suggest you leave while you still can. And you, I assume, must be the Grey Warden I've heard so much about. Are you certain you wish to commit such rash action, Grey Warden? Look around you. Surely, we can reach some kind of compromise. <sighs> Pity. Looks as if we shall have to settle this the hard way, then. My apologies. I said ah! Seems your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. Wait! Hear me out, dear lady. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. 
allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than happy to do this little service for you. Hmm, an interesting offer, if a tad messy. Uh, so, is my offer of interest to you, yes? Uh, then, um, uh, I don't suppose you would consider just, uh, letting me go? Ah. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? now. Shiani? Did she send you here? Praise the Maker! We will not trespass long on your good graces. Come, everyone. Let's go home. I'm sorry if I was rude to you before. Andraste's ass, you'd think I'd learned some social graces. Anyway, what I mean by all this is... thank you. Ah, it's you. Welcome. Please, come in. Tell me, how is Duncan? He's been a friend of mine for many years, yes. From the look on your face, I take it the news is bad. I am sorry to hear that. I knew that the Warden suffered great losses at Ostagar. But a few escaped. I, I had hoped Duncan might be one of them. We've been through outbreaks of pestilence during the war with Orlay. We'll endure. I doubt very much now that the Tevinter intervention would have helped us anyway. He came here, now and then, to look for potential recruits. Perhaps that seems strange to you, but Duncan was a man who knew that talent could emerge in the most unlikely places. Please, take this. Duncan gave it to me years ago. I suspect you'll put it to better use than I would. <laughs>